Besides that. Is that a meteor? No, it's traveling too slowly. It has to be something else. Fiery object sighted northeastern sky, traveling east to west at exactly stopped. The thing must have been magnetic. Let's go get a look at it. Get out of here. Wait, wait, we have to see what they look like. I don't want to see what they look like. Kate, hey, don't you understand what this means to humanity? Contact with a higher intelligence. down near Willoughby. Wait a minute now. Slow down here. Who's this hot-headed young fella? This is Dr. Kevin Carlson. He's an astronomer from the university. Doc? Only it wasn't a meteor. I was there, too. We both saw it. Now, you take it easy. Go slow. Take a deep breath. Now, tell me from the beginning. Sheriff, we were out past the Santamira Mountains, and we saw a thing across the sky. You mean like a big burning light? You saw it, too. Oh, the switchboard's been going crazy. An Air Force jet crashed. Oh, not more than 30 minutes ago. 
The crew parachuted to safety. H.G. can confirm that, can't you? Came in over the AP wire 20 minutes ago. Mr. Orson puts out the town newspaper once a week. It must have been a training flight. They've been dropping those things out of the sky for years. Desert's littered with them. And you know, sometimes I think those boys just like jumping out of airplanes. Listen to me. We saw it. This wasn't any Air Force jet. It was a spaceship. And they fired at us. There were creatures on it, Sheriff. Horrible, ugly monsters. <laughs> ugly monsters. Look, son, you don't look like the hysterical type to me. And I've known this little lady since she was knee-high to a tadpole. I'll tell you what. I'm headed out that way now. Why don't you get in your car and follow me, show me what you saw, and we'll tear it up in no time. Faith, uh, Dr. Carlson, this is Major Whitmore, head of the investigation team. Hello, Dr. Carlson. Go ahead, son. Why don't you tell the Major what you saw? The fiery meteor, the bug-eyed monsters, the death ray? Ah, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, I must have made a mistake, obviously. That's all right, Dr. Carlson. Happens to the best of us. In fact, I saw a UFO once myself. Uh, Sheriff Haskins, there's something I'd like to show you if you have the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't you two come with me? There's something I'd like you to see. Uh, we, we have to get back to town. It's all right, Dr. Carlson. Faith. There's nothing to be afraid of. I wouldn't trust my own grandmother in a place like this. Should I radio ahead? Don't bother. They're not going anywhere. Operator, could you get me the FBI? I'm sorry, sir. Those lines are out right now. Would you like to try again later? Uh, no, I... If you stay where you are, sir, I can send a service truck. Sir? Hello? Sir? Are you there, please? Maybe we can get a message out through him. I'll drop you off. I'm going to find Orson. Maybe he can get word out on his newspaper's AP wire. Faith, remember how we feel about each other. 
They can't take that away from us. No, we won't let them. Okay, I'll meet you at Pop's diner. Kevin, be careful. Find your flying saucer? Are we being invaded by Martians? Mr. Orson? Mr. Orson, can you send a message out on your AP wire? Well, what is it this time? Dinosaurs? Giant ants? Tarantulas as big as houses? Listen to me, this is no joke. We are being invaded. They, they look like human beings. But inside, they're... They're monsters. We saw them. They made a mistake. A flash camera shines through the illusion. It must have something to do with the frequency of the light. Son, if I sent that story out on the AP wire, Mr. AP himself would come out here and rip out my teletype with his own bare hands. You've got to believe me. There might still be time to stop them. Call in an airstrike. The armies. Something wrong, son? No, nothing's wrong, nothing at all. I, uh... You look a little nervous, son. Why don't you sit down and have a cup of coffee on the house? No, thanks. I, um... Uh... I, uh, I'll pass. What happened? Kevin! Oh, I'm so scared! Couldn't you get through? Oh, I couldn't even ask. Kevin, he's not my Uncle Ira anymore. I saw his hand. He's one of them. Come on. son you gave us quite a chase i wanted to warn the world kevin you're acting very very human what are we gonna do with you faith remember what we said in the car remember how we feel about each other i remember they can't take that away from us. Yes, they can. Faith, we've got to resist. It's too late, Kevin. I've already been reprogrammed. Trust me, don't resist it. 
It's easier that way. Yes, and very independent, too. Well, we could use those qualities. It's really just a question of programming. You'll never get away with this. We'll fight you. And we'll defeat you. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But we'll do it. You can count on it! We're going to reprogram you now. Listen to me, Kevin. This is all tier four. Not Earth. You're in a commando training base. You're not a human being. You're one of us. A commando being trained for the invasion of Earth. No! No! This... This can't be happening! Sure! Sure! Big meteor. Came down near Matheson. Only... It wasn't a meteor. Hold on, hold on. Slow down, son. A meteor, you say? 